Greetings world and greetings seven spot. It is time. It's time again for another virtual and socially distant sevens. Um, as I promised, today we have something extremely special. Uh, today we have a, a wonderful tour, if you will, of GBS, the Great British Sports Cars in England. And on the other end of the line, I have Richard Hall. And as I've always said, these things are not about me. Uh, they're about um, the stories that our cars can tell. And we'll get to that in a bit. But uh, here it's about 17 degrees or 16 degrees in the morning, as we say, it's uh, six o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm speaking to someone who's in England. I think it's 17 degrees, but the difference being it's six or sorry, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in Richard Hall. One moment, please. Well, good afternoon, Richard. It's Jim. Hello. Uh, <laughs> seven Spot Jim here. And we've got you at the uh, GBS. Hi, Jim. <laughs> we've got uh, GBS here, and we are so pleased. Now, GBS is located where in UK? Uh, so we're pretty smack bang in the middle of the UK, Nottinghamshire. Um, Wonderful. Not too far from mm -hmm. Sherwood Forest. Um, Wonderful. And we're located here on, on three sites. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our main HQ. Okay. Well, I'm going to, as I said to everybody, I, I, these stories are not um, about me. And, and what, I, what I like to do is take myself out of the picture, and I'm going to turn it over to you because you've got a wonderful um, zero right there, and it's so gorgeous. I, I can't tell you how much I admire your cars. Um, and I would like you, if you can just uh, take us for a, a nice walk around and tell us a bit about that particular car, and then just tell us a little bit about what's going on for you uh, at GBS. Is that all right with you? Yeah, that's great. Um, so, um, yeah, this car we've got here um, is our uh, latest demonstrator. Um, it's running the uh, Ford Duratec two and a half litre, um, mm -hmm. putting out about 200 horsepower and just shy of 200 pound feet of torque. Um, so it's, it's pretty quick, very effortless performance. Yes. Um, this one's got our own um, aluminium hubs, a lot, a lot of bespoke components. Um, mm -hmm. We've probably took a, a different approach to um, to most other uh, manufacturers. Now we wanted to actually be a, a proper British manufacturer and make make more of the car. Um, so it's a lot more bespoke, got a lot more control in the design uh, and the manufacture of it, um, which has mm -hmm. made made us. Um, get a few more you know, enhancements and features from it rather than using an off-the-shelf part. Mm -hmm. um, the whole Zero concept um, started back in 2007, 2007 um, with the yeah. aim to try and make a modern day. Um, yeah, so it's uh, a few years ago now and it's, it's steadily evolved. Um, but the aim was to make a modern day 7. Um, mm -hmm. So really wanted to try and capture you know, the Colin Chapman, Lotus, principle of a seven but make it today um because mm -hmm. technology has moved on bigger uh, everything's got a bit more a uh, bit more grip everywhere um yeah yet we still wanted to keep that that principle um that everyone loves so much um so there's a lot more modern thinking so um the chassis uh, was a clean sheet of paper the idea was to do an, an optimized spray frame getting the maximum rigidity yet still keeping mm -hmm. the weight down we wanted mm -hmm. to stick with the traditional aluminium panels. Mm -hmm. So you've got that traditional coach, coach work. Um, but we ended up bonding all the panels to the chassis, so it became a full stress skin on the car. Um, oh, this helps to increase the rigidity by over three times over okay. the space frame alone, um, which uh -huh. is quite noticeable. Um, we also wanted to have uh, full independent suspension all around. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole car's got double wishbone. Um, it's quite a lot wider as well, and we want it to have really nice long wishbones, so you can keep the geometry yep. nice and constant, yet keep it sprung fairly light and let it move about, um, rather than you know tending to go too hard on the on the springs. Um, mm -hmm. We got the engine a lot further back in the chassis, um, mm -hmm. which isn't that noticeable on the face of it, but makes a big difference. Uh, we're around about 100 to 120 mil further back than um, yes. than a lot of the other other uh, seven type cars. 
um, mm-hmm. which gives you a dead 50-50 distribution, um, and you, you nice. can tell the difference. Um, we also did a few little aerodynamic tweaks all over the car. We've been in the wind tunnel a couple of times, uh, and there's loads of subtle little bits all over that actually add up to make quite a difference. Um, wow. Going from like the, the front splitter, covering in uh-huh. all the suspension, which also helps for the IVA, for the chargers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got the flat top on the wing, and the body mm-hmm. of the car is completely flat with a rear diffuser. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cuts the drag down a lot. Um, there's a little gain in, in downforce, but a lot of it's down to drag reduction. Um, yes. We've done a few other aero tweaks that we've played about with that can give you quite a bit more, but they don't tend to look great, so we've mm-hmm. we're blessed them for now. Um, like I say, it's all, all aluminium panels um, with a GRP nose and wings, or the option yeah. of carbon fibre as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a few other different things, like we did the exhaust coming out the bonnet and down. Um, mm-hmm. That actually helps quite a lot in um, under bonnet temperatures, also helps with the initial flow on the manifold. Um, and it's just a bit unique to us. Yes. Um, inside the car, um, there's a lot more room uh, for the actual cockpits and the ergonomics of the, of the driving position. Uh, we spent a lot of time, so there's a lot more width, uh, a lot more room. Pedal layout nicer and steering position, and you've got more reason yes. to get into the car. Uh, we've got the the car in two options: a standard body, uh, which is called the sports body, um, and then the GT. The GT is 40 mil wider each side. Um, wow! Yeah, the car nice. architecture of car uh-huh. is the same. The geometry, um, everything's identical. It handles the same, yet it feels feels quite different having that bit of extra space. Wow, such a gorgeous car! I love it. And um, I, I'm I'm just going to comment it. One thing that we had spoken about earlier, and I just love about the work you do, is you do so much bespoke engineering right in your shop. And because I mentioned, yeah. I have a I have friends who have machine shops, and they have the com- computerized equipment you do. It's not just a matter of having the equipment it is difficult finding people with the specific skill to program the, uh, these instruments. And so I have to take my hat off and say, wow, the, the stuff you do at GBS is just like, it's off the chart. Yeah, so we're, we're really taking it from, if you like, the old flag packet drawing, coming up with the concept, the idea, right the way through the cab, the cam, onto the machine, onto the car, and trying it. Um, mm-hmm. um, Things like um, the front hubs we developed. So we did our own yes. um, complete um, display billet aluminium front hub that's our own caliper and everything. Yep. Um, that was done right from from the ground up. Um, and we tried to put a lot of um, principles in there, you know, which probably harked mm-hmm. back to the original Lotus and most of what they had. If every bolt can have two functions, so for instance, the, the bolts that hold the steering arm on also hold the wheel bearing assembly, the bolts that hold the wing bracket also hold the, um, the top top mount on, the caliper bolts go straight through, so it's a radial caliper, um, radial mount caliper straight onto the to the hub. Um, mm-hmm. We've done little things like we've wanted to go flat bells on the brakes and keep the mm-hmm. centre of the disc pretty much on the centre of the wheel bearing. So if you wow. get any deflection in the bearing, you don't get any um, knockback on the pads. Um, lots of little thinking like that that's probably come from you know, high level motorsport and that, but we've tried to you know, bring it onto what we're doing. Um, mm-hmm. Probably don't notice the individual bits, but as a whole, they all add up and make quite a difference. Well, and that's uh, because you're so proud of it. But I'm just looking at it; it's just a gorgeous car, too. I just love. I mean, appearance-wise, it's 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 a very very attractive looking car. Thank you. Oh, you're um, most welcome. And then, um, if you want, we can have a in the showroom quick, and then maybe yeah. go to the workshop. Oh. That sounds just perfect. Uh, yeah. Why don't we have a, a peek in the showroom and then um, you can show yeah. us some of the little projects you're working on in the shop. All right. Cheers. I'll follow you. Um, so we've got our showroom in here. Um, so we've also got the, the kit spare side of the business where we do all the parts. Uh, yes. So the aim is to have at least one car's worth of bits on the shelf at mm-hmm. any one time. Um, mm-hmm. So for spare parts, uh, people upgrading that, we try to have it, have it all here ready. Mm-hmm. 
And then we've got, um, well, Geotech engine. Um, so this is what we've got in the, the car outside. So uh, it's your 2.5 Geotech onto the uh, brand new Mazda NC gearbox, five speed. Lovely. Uh, with all our own throttle bodies on that we make. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're all done. We do all our own water pulleys. Uh, mm -hmm. The whole exhaust system we make, so all the uh, three axis tube bending, um, all things like that we're doing. Um, we've then got, um, I'll just show you one of the, the front hubs in a little bit more. more yeah, detail. in some detail. That I'm just, uh, I'm in so love. weight wise, you know, yeah. you'd never do that with the, uh, the old and cast iron hubs or anything. Not a look at that. Look at the bespoke brakes that you've got. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so it's our own uh, four pot uh, caliper. <laughs> Absolutely um, fab. <laughs> which, which again, there's a lot of little details on there that we've done. So um, we've done a lot of nice contouring on the machine. Uh, uh -huh. Not necessarily the fastest way, but you get that nice arc to it. So you've got yep. that bridge on the caliper, which helps to increase the rigidity. Yeah. Um, also. If you imagine the center line of your pistons, the bolts are past center, so it helps mm -hmm. you more agility, stops it from uh, peeling. Mm -hmm. um, all little details, but it makes it <laughs> feel a lot nicer. Very, very, very um, nice. Then we've got um, well, our own shock absorbers that we make. Yes. So for the car, it's a full uh, alley monotube damper. Yeah. Uh, we do adjust them on the bottom. Uh, we do them in various different lengths, and that for loads of different cars from... Uh -huh. um, well, our own cars, uh, Formula One stock cars, quite a bit of historic racing from single seaters to yes. on market Jags. Um, do a few in the Lotus market for the Elise and um, the Forwards, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's quite a quite a nice product. We've got it on a lot of cars now. Wow. Um, then just give you an idea of some of the other bits. Um, got all the, the billet sumps we've made. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the water pulleys, uh, auto housings. Um, we do a really nice bespoke loop for the car as well. Yes, uh, I love that. I've seen that on, on, on some of the builds. And I, I, I say that that's absolutely fabulous because when I built mine, <laughs> I basically used the, the bike loom that, uh, that my bike came with and then I was on my own. So what you've done there is oh, off yeah, the chart. I think a lot Wonderful. Of time, why yeah. it's a, a fear for people. Uh, yeah. so we try to make, just make it simple. So everything's all labeled, plug and play. There's loads of different options with that. Um, which, there's a couple of YouTube videos we've done on there if people are, want to have a more detailed look. That sounds um, good. And then we've got, um, well, some of the throttle body manifolds for, for loads of different engines and different options. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of, yeah, basically the showroom. Um, and if you want a quick look in the workshop, I'd like um, to see that and see how busy you are at GBS. We've got quite a few cars in at the minute. <laughs> um, I'm ready. And then we've got, uh, well, through that side, we've got all the stores and all the parts and some uh, sure. cars and kits ready for dispatch and the uh, CNC machine shop, uh, which mm -hmm. we'll probably, probably have a look another day. All right. So we'll just go into the workshop. Um, we've, got, we've got six zeros in at the moment. Um, Six zeros. Wow. So the green one's a factory built car. Uh, uh -huh. So it's got the two and a half litre, really nice car. Actually, the scheme on this is awesome. Um, so it's got all all the carbon fiber interior panels, mm -hmm. the Smith instrument with all the warning lights built in, um, mm -hmm. all our own alley stalks on it. Yes, I saw that. Um, That's good. Then it's running the uh, the two and a half Geotech. Um, so you can see we move the engine quite a lot, a lot oh, further back. So clean. Um, really nice Richard clean scuttle. So we just wanted it to look yeah. minimal. So clean, um, I love it. So that's um, yeah, it's really nice this green one. Uh, it's just come back for its first service uh, from the mm -hmm. customer uh, down in Bedford. Then we've got uh, the blue one, which is in for its IVA test. Um, yes. Which is um, I don't know if you have the IVA test is like the the UK um, government's test to get them on the road. Um, where yes. they go through the car and look at various aspects of the, the build, the e-marking approvals and, and so on, yes. um, which is, is fairly straightforward. We've kind of engineered the whole vehicle around mm -hmm. the approvals for the UK and other countries. Um, then we've got the white one, uh, which is a French customer's car, uh, which is hopefully collecting uh, once you can get into the country. 
Lovely. Um, got the orange one in the doorway. Um, that's uh, being collected by the customer on Friday. It's a full factory build. Um, we mm -hmm. just fit in the number of plates and giving it a quick once over. Yep. Um, but then we also do some you know, other stuff. Um, for instance, here we've got a, a 1966 Brabham. Wow, uh, nice. Which is running the old Ford BDA engine, mm -hmm. um, which is a bit of a screamer. Um, <laughs> so it's really nice. That's pretty cool. Um, yep. So we're just going through it getting it ready for the customer. Um, he's actually got a zero as well, uh, but he's had this car in his family since the, the late 60s. Mm -hmm. um, but his father raced and he raced it a little bit and then it, um, he just wanted it sort of recommissioning and getting it back up and running. Um, so we've been doing that for him. Lovely. Um, we've beautiful. also got um, an old uh, Lotus um, that we've just done a full, full rebuild on. Um, so it's got the old Lotus twin cam and yeah. everything. Um, it's quite nice to see how cars have evolved and come on. No kidding. Um, over yeah. the years. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're pretty basic in area. <laughs> um, so we, we do a few other you know, projects and different engineering work as well for people. Um, but the, mm -hmm. the core business definitely is our, our own car and that. But a lot of yeah. that expertise and engineering knowledge is sort of transferred into other areas. Um, from, well, we've done some aerospace projects with people, um, all sorts of different things, really. It's, uh, it's quite varied. You are a busy man. Um, and then we've got upstairs on the mezzanine, we've got um, three factory-built cars um, mm -hmm. along the go as well. Wow. Um, and that, that's about it, really, in of a quick tour of the workshop. And thank you so much for bringing us through. I do appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. Um, well, is there anything else you want to look at? No, or? I'm, 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 I'm totally loving what you, you've shown us, and, and I appreciate it so much because you're a very busy man. Perhaps we can just uh, take a step back out to the red car, and I yeah, will... We'll and it was just a, a quick look at that to finish up, and I will say thank yep. you, uh, and we'll let you get on with your day, <laughs> and we'll get on with what we're doing here at Seven Spot. Richard, this is this is where I come in, and this is the where uh, we we kind of um, are going to part ways. But I'm going to uh, exit the solo lay solo layout where you were giving us the tour, and I'm going to bring myself back in. Richard, I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of yeah. everyone at Seven Spot, what you are doing there. Um, and I said it before, it's off the chart. I mean, the stuff that you do, the, the attention to, to detail that you have uh, displayed with the, the cars that you manufacture is literally right off the chart, in my humble opinion. It's absolutely fabulous. No, thank you very much. Um, I hope, hope you got a bit of an insight into into what we're doing, uh, you know, what we're about as a company. Um, you know, we, we really want to move the seven concept on uh, in both performance, quality, design, um, mm -hmm. and then on to other models and that in the future. And, uh, well, and, and uh, yeah, it's really good to share that with people and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Well, I, I have, and I want to say, all I'm going to do right now, Richard, is I'm going to once again say thank you. Um, Thank you for sharing uh, a little bit with us because, I mean, you've given us now a full almost 20 minutes of your time, and I know you're busy. All I have to do is look at your shop, and I can see, oh, my God, you're busy. And good on you because you've earned it. Because, And this is one thing I did want to say is um, – I, I noticed on your website that, that uh, you know, I'm in North America and I know that in British Columbia, we have a custom uh, GBS customer and, and good on that. But you, you, on your website, you, you do have USA spec um, uh, cars that you were exporting. Are you soon going to have a, 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 a North American distributor or is, is that something you're working at uh, still? Uh, so we, yeah, we've done um, about 20, at least 20 cars. Um, to America now. Um, mm -hmm. Quite a few are on the road now. Um, we've got a, um, Paul who's in California, who's yes. taking care of um, customers out there and sales and that. Um, okay. so if anyone wants wants to um, make kind of a, just let us know. Uh, it may be worth uh, you having a chat with him as well. I'm, I'm looking a, forward to a really it. Nice I just, as well. 
you know, that's that's the reason why I brought it up because I, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of uh, folks on the North American shores are going to be very very keen to see uh, how they can get to more information on on zeros because what can I say they are great British sports cars so you know that that's that's where we're going to part ways I'm going to say Richard Paul thank you so much for your time and we are looking forward right, to. You. Uh, seeing you at seven spot. Thanks again, Richard. Thank Cheers you for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.